for a birthday day hunt, pick up a camera, do some scouting during summer, have a good look around and just enjoy myself. Praise the Lord, eh? It's a solo trip today. I don't usually get out in the bush on my own much. Always like company and It's always nice to share the experience with someone, with someone, you know. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to just being on my own, hunting where I want to hunt, and uh, yeah, just doing it, doing it my own way, which is cool. But I always enjoy having company, someone to talk with and discuss plans, tactics, all of that. So today, it's um, third week of Jan, and I'm um, just picking up a camera. It's gonna be 24 today. Don't think I've ever hunted in 24 degrees. <laughs> so I'm, sort of not exactly sure what the deer will be doing or where they'll be in this weather. The anticipation of the hunt <clears throat> is a good thing. It's a good feeling, isn't it? About to get the gear together and hit the hills. Beautiful morning. And uh, go and get this camera and then we'll go from there. that in um, Ken Pierce's walking them up just cutting the track 
<clears throat> through this junk but it'll be the best crossing in this gully system for a kilometer <laughs> only take me another half an hour I think might be worth it Feels a lot later than it is. Real good preach tree just here. About 600 elevation. A little bit more maybe. That'll be good in August. <clears throat> Wow, it's been pushing hard to get to this spot, I made it, there should be some nice open spots up here, and I'll be showing you. I am very buggered and I'm really hoping this water stash is still here. I've got to remember exactly where it is first. I really hope I can find it. Oh, I hope it's all good. I hope it's good. Oh, I hope it's good. That's not as much as I thought. I thought there was a 10 litres in there. I thought that was 10 litres. Oh, yes. Two years later. Oh, thank you. Good on you, Shannon. A big cherry rub. Oh, I found it. I'm so thirsty, man. Yes. Oh. Cherry tree water hole. Oh. oh, yeah, boy. I assume it's all right. That's good. <laughs> ah, that's where I was. There, straight across up the top there and bashed my way up through there. Came out on the track. Well, that's the end of a hunt. I'm walking down the track and I uh, hear some voices and uh, this fella Tim <clears throat> and his young bloke Will, they uh, come out from the bushes and said, oh, g'day. He said, I'll unload my gun. So I did that. And uh, he goes, oh, any chance you've seen some sunglasses? I said, nah, man, I've been on the track up here for about 300 metres or more. And... Uh, turn around just to have a look three meters behind me right there they are <laughs> so yeah they've invited me down to camp and I'll go and have a 
solo or coke with them and then I'll head home. Awesome. And he used to be a member of the Deerstalkers Club.